Good morning, my dear students. Hope you all are fine and safe at your home. You all may have seen the first part of the lesson mechanics. Now we are going to see rest of the topics in this lesson mechanics. Is what are the topics that we have seen in the first part? We have seen the definition of motion, definition of rest, and we have seen the difference between rest and motion. We have seen various types of motion. Is what are the various types of motion we have seen? They are random motion, translational motion, rotational motion, and oscillatory motion. Is translational motion is further divided into rectilinear motion, curvilinear motion, and circular motion. Yes. Now we are going to see the next part. Next part of the lesson. The next topic which we are going to see is speed. Is what is mean by speed? Speed is the measurement of how fast an object moves relative to the reference point. Speed is measurement of how fast an object moves relative to the towards the reference point. Relative to is nothing but how fast an object moves towards the reference point is called as speed. Yes. The formula to calculate speed is distance by time. Speed is change in distance by change in time. Yes. The formula for speed is distance by time. Unit of distance is what is the unit of distance? Unit of distance is meter. What is the unit of time? Unit of time is second. Unit of distance is meter. Unit of time is second. Now, what are the various units for measuring distance? Yes, the various units are meter, kilometer, millimeter. Yes, for time, there are other units namely minutes, hours, seconds. Yes, here the unit of speed is kilometer per hour. The unit of distance is kilometer. Unit of time is hour. So, the unit of speed is kilometer per hour. From this formula, we can calculate distance and time. Yes, distance is equal to time into speed. Yes, what is the formula to calculate distance? Time into speed. From this, we can calculate time to. What is the formula to calculate time? Time is equal to distance by speed. Yes, the unit of speed is the formula for speed is distance by time. But from this formula, we can calculate distance and time. Distance is equal to time into speed. Time is equal to distance by speed. Yes. These are all the formulas to calculate speed, distance and time. You may expect problems based on these formulas. So remember all these speed formulas. Yes. What is the formula for speed? Speed is equal to distance by time. What is the formula for distance? Distance is equal to time into speed. Is the formula for time is distance by speed. These are all the various formulas to calculate speed, distance and time. Yes, speed is a scalar quantity. What is mean by scalar quantity? Quantities are of two types. Namely, scalar quantity and vector quantity. Scalar quantity and vector quantity. Scalar quantities are nothing but quantities that has only magnitude are called as scalar quantities. Quantities that has only magnitude are called as scalar quantities. Vector quantities are nothing but quantities that has both magnitude and direction. Quantities which possess both magnitude and direction are called as vector quantities. So, speed has only magnitude. So, it is a scalar quantity. As I have said before, the unit of speed is kilometer per hour. Is it clear? Speed is the measurement of how fast an object moves relative to reference point. The formula to calculate speed is distance by time. The unit of distance is kilometer. Unit of time is hour. So, the unit of speed is kilometer per hour. Speed is a scalar quantity as it possesses only magnitude. The next topic which we are going to see is speed is of two types. They are classifying speed as instantaneous speed and average speed. Instantaneous speed, the word instantaneous is nothing but at the given moment, at that moment. Okay, instant is nothing but at that moment. So, instantaneous speed is speed of an object at given moment. Speed of an object at 
different moment is called as instantaneous speed. Example for instantaneous speed is speedometer. Speedometer is a device to measure speed of a vehicle. Okay, speed of a moving vehicle. Speedometer is a device to measure speed of the vehicle. Next is your average speed. Average speed is nothing but total distance travelled by total time taken. Average speed is total distance travelled by total time taken. Okay, how will you put average for your exam marks? You will total all the marks and you will divide it by the total subject. In the same way, average speed is nothing but total distance travelled by total time taken. Yes. Speed is classified as instantaneous speed and average speed. Instantaneous speed is speed of an object at a given moment. Example, speedometer. Speedometer is the device to measure speed of a vehicle. Next is your average speed. Average speed is total distance travelled by total time taken. Next topic which we are going to see is velocity. This what is meant by velocity? Velocity is the rate of change in position of an object. Velocity is rate of change in position of an object. Formula to calculate velocity is displacement by time taken. The formula to calculate velocity is displacement by time taken. Displacement is denoted by the symbol S and time is denoted by the symbol T. Velocity which is equal to displacement by Time taken. Displacement is denoted by the symbol S and time is denoted by the symbol T. Velocity which is equal to S by T. Yes, what is the unit of displacement? Unit of displacement is meter. Unit of time is second. So the unit of velocity is meter per second. What is the unit of velocity? Unit of velocity is meter per second. Velocity is a vector quantity. As I have said before, as I have said before, the quantities that has only magnitude are called as scalar quantities. The quantities that has both magnitude and direction are called as vector quantities. The quantities that has only magnitude are called as scalar quantities. The quantity that has both magnitude and direction are called as vector quantity. Okay. Velocity has both magnitude and direction. And so it is called as the vector quantity. The formula for velocity is displacement by time taken. Displacement is denoted by the letter L and time is E. Unit of displacement is meter. Unit of time is second. Next, velocity is a vector quantity as it possesses both magnitude and direction. Next, unit of velocity is meter per second. It can also be written as m s power minus 1. Is it clear? Unit of velocity is meter per second. It can also be written as m s power minus 1. Next, we are going to see what is average velocity. What is meant by average speed that we have seen here? Total distance travelled by total time taken. Now, average velocity is same as that of average speed. Yes, total displacement by total time taken. Total displacement by total time taken is average velocity. What is average velocity? Average velocity is the ratio of total displacement and total time taken. We have seen what is speed. Speed is the measurement of how fast an object moves relative to reference point. The formula to calculate speed is distance by time. Yes, from this we can calculate distance and time. Distance is equal to time into speed. Time which is equal to distance by speed. Speed is a scalar quantity as it poses only magnitude. Unit of speed is kilometer per Hard. Next we have seen what is instantaneous speed. Instantaneous speed is speed of an object at given moment. Example for instantaneous speed is speedometer. Speedometer is the device to measure speed. Next average speed. Average speed is the ratio of total distance traveled and total time taken. 
Next we have seen velocity. What is velocity? Rate of change in position of an object. The formula to calculate velocity is change in displacement by change in time taken. Displacement is denoted by the letter S and time taken is denoted by T. Unit of uh, displacement is meter. Unit of time is second. So the unit of velocity is meter per second. It can also be written as m s power minus 1. Next, velocity is the vector of entity as it possesses both magnitude and direction. Next, we have seen what is average velocity. Average velocity is the ratio of total displacement and total time taken. We have seen various formulas to calculate speed, distance and time. Right? Now, we are going to solve the problems based on those three formulas. Yes. I will read the question for the first problem. Listen carefully. Listen car travel a total distance of 440 km. A trip took 8 hours. What was the average speed? Yes, listen carefully. I will read the question again. Listen car travel a total distance of 440 km. A trip took 8 hours. What was the average speed? Yes, what are the quantities given here? They have given total distance. Total distance is 440 km. And time is given here. What is the time given here? 8 hours. They are asking us to calculate average speed. What is the formula to calculate average speed? Total distance by total time taken. They have given us the distance value. Distance value is 440 Distance is equal to 440 kilometer. Next, they have given the time value for that. What is the time value? Time is 8 hours. We have to calculate the average speed. What is the formula to calculate average speed? Average speed is equal to distance by Time taken. What is the value for distance given here? 440 kilometer. What is the value for time? Time is 8 hours. Cancel this now. 55. 55 kilometer. The average speed is 55 kilometer per hour. The average speed is 55 kilometer per hour. They have given us the value for distance and time. Substitute the value for distance and time in this formula. Average speed is equal to distance by time taken. The value for distance is 440 kilometer and time is 8 hours. If you cancel these two, the answer is 55 kilometer per hour. So the average speed is 55 kilometer per hour. Is this clear? Yes, they are asking us to find the average speed and they have given the values for distance and time. Substitute the values in the formula and the answer is 55 km per hour. Now, I will read the second question for you. Listen carefully. A boy cycles down from his house to his school at a speed of 18 km per hour and reaches there in 20 minutes. How far is the school from his house? A boy cycles down from his house to his school at a speed of 18 km per hour and reaches there in 20 minutes. How far is the school from his house? They are asking us to calculate the distance. They have given the values of speed and time. They are asking us to calculate the distance. Yes, what is the speed given here? Speed is equal to 18 km per hour. What is the value of time given here? Time is equal to 20 minutes. You have to calculate convert this minute to hour. So you have to divide 20 by 60. 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, to convert minutes to hour, you have to divide. 1 minute is equal to 1 by 
60. So for 20 minutes, 20 by 60 is what will be the answer? 1 by 3. Now substitute in the formula. What is the formula? We have write distance. Distance is equal to distance is equal to speed into time. Is what is the speed given here? 18 km per hour. And time 1 by 3 hour. Cancel this. What is the distance value? 6 km. The distance from school to his house is 6 km. Listen. A boy cycles down from his house to his school at a speed of 18 Kilometer per hour. A boy cycles down from his school house to his school at a speed of 18 kilometer per hour and reaches there in 20 minutes. How far is the school from his house? They are asking us to calculate distance from school to his house. They have given us the speed value and time value. Speed is equal to 18 km per hour. Time is 20 minutes. They have given it minutes. So you have to convert minutes to hour. You have to divide 20 by 60. The value is 1 by 3 hour. Substitute in the formula distance is equal to speed into time. 18 km per hour into 1 by 3 hour. If you cancel this, the answer will be 6 km. So the distance from Distance of school from his house is 6 km. Yes. We shall see the third problem. I will read the question for you. Listen carefully. A car travels 120 km with a speed of 60 km per hour. A car travels 120 km with a speed of 60 km per hour. And after another 60 km, with a speed of 40 km per hour, what is the average speed of car during the whole journey? They have given distance, okay? We have to calculate average speed of a car during the whole journey. They are asking us to calculate the average speed. Now, time taken during first part of journey is 120 km, okay? Time taken during second part of the journey is 60 km per hour. Now they are asking us to calculate the average speed. See, time taken during first part of journey is T1 which is equal to 120 by 60. They have given it minutes. So you have to convert that in half. 120 by 60 which is equal to 2 half. Now time taken during second part of the journey. T2 is equal to 60 by 40. If you cancel this, the answer will be 3 by 2. Total time taken, you have to add T1 and T2. If you add T1 and T2, 2 plus 3 by 2. 4 plus 3 by 2 is 7 by 2. Total distance travelled is, you have to add both the distance. 120 km and 60 km. 120 plus 60 is 180 km. So we have found total distance and total time taken. Substitute in the formula of average speed is equal to total distance by total time taken. What is the total distance we have calculated? 180 km. Total time taken is 7 by 2 hour. 180 into 2 by 7 which is equal to 360 by 7. Cancel this 54.1 km per hour. Average speed is 54.1 km per hour. We have calculated the total distance and total time. Substitute total distance and total time we have found out. Average speed is equal to total distance by total time. 180 km by 7 by 2 hour. This 2 goes to the numerator. 180 into 2 by 7. 180 into 2 is 360 by 7. If you cancel this, the answer is 54.1 km per hour. So the average speed is 
54.1 km per hour. Is this problem clear for you? First problem, they are asking us to find the average speed. They have given us the distance and time. Substitute the values in the formula and the answer is 55 km per hour. The second problem, they are asking us to find the distance. The formula for distance is speed into time. Substitute the values in the formula and the answer is 6 km. Next part, they are asking us to find the average speed. We have calculated the total distance and total time. Substitute in the formula and the final answer is 54.1 km per hour. Average speed is 54.1 km per hour. The next topic which we are going to see is acceleration. What is meant by acceleration? Acceleration is rate of change of velocity. Acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. The word rate denotes with respect to time. The change in velocity with respect to time is called as acceleration. What is acceleration? Acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity. The word rate denotes change in velocity with respect to time. Okay. Acceleration is equal to change in velocity by change in time. Change in velocity by change in time. The unit of acceleration is meter by second square. The unit of acceleration is meter by second square. What is the form? What is the unit of velocity? Unit of velocity is meter second power minus 1 by second. If this second goes to the numerator, it becomes minus 1. Second power minus 1 into second power minus 1 is second power minus 2. It can also be written as m by s of s square. Okay? It can also be written as m by s square. Or you can write this as m into s power minus 2. So here, yes, the unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Acceleration which is equal to change in velocity by change in time. Unit of acceleration is meter by second square. Yes, change in velocity is nothing but the difference between final velocity and initial velocity. The difference in final velocity and initial velocity is called as Change in velocity. So, acceleration is equal to final velocity minus initial velocity. Final velocity minus initial velocity by time taken. U. Angle velocity is denoted by the letter U. Initial velocity is denoted by the symbol V. U minus V by T is acceleration. Acceleration is equal to U minus V by T. U is nothing but the final velocity. V is nothing but your initial velocity. T is time. U minus V by T is the formula for acceleration. Next, acceleration is of two types. Namely, uniform acceleration and non-uniform acceleration. Uniform acceleration is if acceleration remains constant for a given interval of time. Remains constant is nothing but if it does not change for a given interval of time, then it is said to be uniform acceleration. Non-uniform acceleration is if acceleration changes for a given interval of time. Uniform is if it does not change for a given interval of time, it is said to be uniform acceleration. If an acceleration changes for a given interval of time, then it is said to be non-uniform acceleration. Next is your average acceleration. Average acceleration is equal to total change in velocity by total time taken. Average acceleration is equal to total change in velocity by total time taken. Next, types of acceleration. Types of acceleration is nothing but increasing speed is called as acceleration. Increase in speed is called as acceleration. The same way, decrease in speed is called as decrease.
Yes. 